Black Lives Matter, man. Um, it's something that I'm very passionate about on both sides. So, so I do believe in the idea and, 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 and what the movement is about. However, I'm, uh, certain things are not adding up to me on the business side. So as somebody who is down into that, First of all, how did you get involved in Black Lives Matter? How did you even how did you even become a part of that mix? Yeah, that's a good question. And it kind of gives me an opportunity to even explain what it is. Like the Black Lives Matter movement is like the civil rights movement. There, you know, the civil rights movement is not it's a it's a collection of of uh, of a hundred different organizations. Like if you study the civil rights movement, mm -hmm. they're probably, they're more about four, they're about 400 organizations, cities, counties, college campuses, they're a regional, national. And the Black Lives Matter movement is the same thing, man. It is, it is an eclectic mix of people who are fighting for the protection and advancement of black folk. Now there is an organization, Black Lives Matter, I'm not a part of that organization. I know the people who are. I'm friends with them. I like them. I support them. But most of us who run organizations, we are like, I run an organization called the Grassroots Law Project, and mm -hmm. we're called yeah. Real, Real Justice. Hold and on. So I, hold on. Hold yeah. on. Give us, the, give us the, before you do that, just give us the website so people can go there and investigate that. Oh yeah! Oh, always. I and I, I encourage everybody to always look under the hood and kick the tires, look at financial reports and all of those things. People can go to grassrootslaw.org. Grassrootslaw.org. You can see our board. You can see the cases we that we've taken on, including Breonna Taylor and Ahmaud Aubrey and George Floyd. We are part of all of those teams. Uh, also, if you go to Real Justice Pack, P A C. Mm -hmm. dot org you can see the district attorneys that we fought for the elections that we've won and both of those organizations have public financial reports that people can see too um so i see those organizations as a part of the black lives matter movement we are not a part of a black lives matter organization but just like all the different groups that were a part of the civil rights movement there wasn't an organization called the civil rights movement but they were mm -hmm. all a part of it in that they were fighting, yeah, they were fighting for justice and and change and equality and equity all at the same time. So in this movement, there are those of us who have wildly different styles, um, very different approaches, uh, very different philosophies and worldviews. Um, there are those of us that focus on very different facets of how we should fight for change. And I'm okay with that. Like, I look at where we are now as, as kind of, even the word you use, a, a patchwork of, of people who are all trying to fight for deep systemic change, but in hundreds of different ways. Mm -hmm. and, and so there are people in, the, in this movement that I don't see eye to eye to, there are people in this movement that I don't speak to and that don't speak to me. Uh, there are people in this movement that I love so much that I see them like family. Um, there are people in this movement that I would, I, would, I would fight for with my dying breath. And it's very similar to the civil rights movement in that sense, where there were differences, there were beefs, there were disagreements, uh, and, and everything in between. What people do that bothers me and, and none of us should do this. People often will see a group or a person or even an organization inside of the movement and then say, I want nothing to do with the movement at all. And it's like, listen, movements will have failures. Movements will have people that will succeed and fail. We, we will have victories and failures. Um, it, and all of that is just the, the natural life cycle of kind of a modern civil rights movement. Um, it's, and it's young still, you know, what I was telling you earlier is that it's really some, it's a six year old movement. And in that sense, like I think of, a, I have an eight year old here in my house, like a six year old is still finding its way, you know, still mm -hmm. finding its identity, still getting its feet under it. The movement is not a 
full-fledged adult at this point. We're adults. I'm an adult. But the movement is still super new. Like, my organization, Grassroots Law, we're six months old. And and so what that means is we have all the struggles of a six-month-old organization. Um, and, and so, you know, people... People have every right to ask hard questions, but you shouldn't throw away a whole movement because of those questions or even because of something that frustrates you. Um, There are people in this movement that I wouldn't work with and I'm okay with that. Like we see that we see the problems and how to solve them so differently that they do things in their space and I do things in my space and I'm okay with that. You know, I, I, I'll tell you like this. What frustrates me about Black Lives Matter global organization is that there were two things. Number one, Stephen Jackson, I, I'm, I'm sure you know Stat. The, 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 yeah, yeah, Stack. he's one of my, he's a, he's a dear friend of mine. I love him. All right, yeah, so, yeah. so Stack is out there. Stack is out there with Pope Boy. Okay, so, yep. you know, Pope Boy is related to George Floyd. They're out there, they're really getting, and keep in mind, Stephen Jackson, it's probably one of the most recognizable faces that you can find to NBA superstar. No support, no logistical support, not even a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Nobody came to them and said, hey, from Black Lives Matter, said, hey, man, well, how can we help you? And that frustrated me because my thing is this. If I, and number two is I, once they, I started trying to do all this, I couldn't find out where the money was going. You said something very important to me. You said I could go and look at your books. There's complete full. Uh, 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 there's information. I know where things are going. And, and, and once I can see that, I can I can get in and believe in something. I believe in the idea and 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 and, and, the, and, and the thesis behind it. But the organization, I don't know. Batman Scoop. Visit BatmanScoop.com to buy merch.